One question I get quite a lot is, will OnlyFans be shut down? Which I guess is a perfectly valid question if people are going to be investing a lot of time into building a business and building a brand like a, around this is a perfectly valid question to ask. I cannot answer that. I, like, I obviously cannot say if OnlyFans like, will be shut down. Personally, I'm not expecting that to happen, at least in like, the coming years. There was a situation before where they had an issue with Visa and MasterCard who said that they had to stop selling adult content, stop selling pornography on the site. And Pornhub have actually had this same issue. And I believe they moved over to crypto. So I don't believe like OnlyFans will actually be shut down. I think it's just got so huge now that there will always be a way to find like a creative solution. But regardless, if OnlyFans ever was shut down, this industry as a whole isn't going anywhere. The platform itself may change. If we look at social media, it started off with MySpace, ended up moving to Facebook, then Instagram, and now TikTok. Like the platform that this type of content consumption is being hosted on may change. For example, it could move from OnlyFans to Fansly. That is definitely a possibility. And it could be for like, a, if anyone's dealt with OnlyFans support, they will know that they're actually pretty like useless, like really quite bad. So. OnlyFans itself currently dominates the space. Like the difference is literally like Coca-Cola versus some unknown cola brand in like a local supermarket. The difference is really that much. Trust me, I've tested this. We had a model that we were originally promoting on Fansly, which is like the second largest competitor to OnlyFans. And she was making about $50 per day at the time. And like we were working so hard, we couldn't have her using OnlyFans because it wasn't supported in her country. So we thought we'd, we'd try out Fansly. So we were making about $50 per day. And in the end, we found a workaround to get her onto OnlyFans platform. And on the first day, she literally brought in $500 and was consistently bringing in $500 per day. That's no over exaggeration at all. That shows you the difference in conversion rate compared to Fansly, the second largest alternative compared to OnlyFans. So yeah, currently like OnlyFans just literally owns the space. However, Fansly as a platform, in my opinion, is actually better, particularly for creators. Customer support is much better. Payout options are also actually much better. And the customer support, like the overall experience is much better. The customer support is much better as well. OnlyFans customer support is, is diabolical. It's really, really, really quite bad. Particularly like I actually had 6K, was it? Literally just frozen and it's just, they just don't even reply. And it's been like two or three months now. I've just given up trying to chase it up. But it's unacceptable if you think about it for that to happen. However, because OnlyFans is just such a strong brand, I don't even bother going over to an alternative. The thing that could cause a shift like that would be for OnlyFans to have some type of restriction in place or for all of the creators as a whole to decide that we are going to move over to Fansly. In my opinion, the customers don't really care where they're consuming the content, whether it's Fansly, OnlyFans or any of these other competitors. It's based on where the creators are deciding to post this. So there could be some type of mass migration, but it would have to take like a huge event in order to trigger something like that. So it's not something that I personally worry about. I think the space is too big to be shut down now. And there will always be a way that creators are looking to sell their content, particularly when they've had a taste of how much money there is to be made.